Good morning, students. Welcome back to the Max class. I started in the previous class with conditional probability. We worked out few problems. So, using the same conditional probability definition, let us try to rearrange few more problems on this. Determine conditional probability of event P e, given that event F is occurred. So you have to find the conditional probability of one event when the other event is occurred. For that, the first problem what is asked is a coin is tossed three times. So the sample space what is given that is nothing but here the sample space what I have is nothing but a coin is tossed three times where event E hit on third toss. F at all the first two tosses. Now using this, let us try to find the value of this conditional problem. What is given that coin is tossed three times? So here they have mentioned that the coin is tossed three times. That is the sample space what I have to consider using this. So here when I consider three coins and I toss it, what are the possible cases they get back? The sample space includes all the three coins shows me heads. When three coins are rolled together, on all the three coins I can get back head. Or any two coins I can get back head and on one coin thing. So I consider the possibilities as the first two coins showing head, the third one thing. Then the first and the third one take head and the middle one take. Or the next case is the first take and the next two are head. These are the three cases when I consider two points showing head. All the three showing head, one positive. Two points which can show head is the first two with the third one take. Or the first and the third one with head and the middle one with take. Or the first one take and the next two head. Next possibility is when we have only one head and other two thing. So the first one showing head, the other two thing. The first and the third one take, the middle one head. The first two take and the last one head. The last possibility is it does not show head at all. All the three points will get back thing. So this is the value of a sample space when three coins are tossed. The coin is tossed three times, we get back these are the possible cases what I have. When I toss a coin three times, I can get back these are the chances. Now I define using this. What are the two events given? Event E and event F. Before that, can I not write the number of elements in the sample space is not even A? The number of elements in this sample space is nothing but A. There are totally eight elements. Now, the next event E when I put A. What is the event E I have? Head on the third class. Let me see what are the cases on which on the third class I put back in. Can I see the first case? On the third one you have the head. The next one when I consider, on the third one we have tail. I cannot consider that. Again, in this case, I can consider head, tail, head, because of the third one we have it. Again, the next one, tail, head, head. Again, in this, I don't have the possibility. Third one is not a head. But again, in this, I have the third one showing the head. Out of A, there are four chances where I get back the third one showing the head. First one, yes, I can consider. The second one I don't have, yes. The next one I have, again this case I have an egg. These two doesn't show on the third case's egg. But this one again on the third one I have the egg. So these are the four possibilities. So number of elements in E is nothing but two. N denotes the number of elements in the event E. That is nothing but four. Then F is the next event what I have. Let me find what is F here. F and on the first two toss. On the first two, I have to get back head. If I consider the first case, yes, I get back head on the first two. Third is also there, but the first two is satisfied. The next one also possible. 
But in this, the second one is still, I cannot consider this. The first one is still, I cannot consider because the first two should show head. In all this, first two should show head is not possible at all because I have only one head or in the last one, no head. So only these are the two possible cases for I can consider. The number of elements in F is nothing but two. So I got back the sample space, the corners toss three times. Then the two events I have defined. Next to find the conditional probability, what else is required? We require E intersection F. E intersection F is the common elements what I have. Let me find the common elements in this. What are the common elements I can take? H, H, H is the only possible. I don't have H, H, T in this case. So I cannot consider that. Only common element is H, H, H. So the number of elements in E intersection F is nothing but one. I have defined the sample space, the two events, what is given in this case. Then I found the number of elements in sample space is 8. Number of elements in event E is 4. Number of elements in F is nothing but 2. Then E intersection F, we got back only one common element. Number of elements in E intersection F is nothing but 2. Now I will define what is this. I will just continue the problem here. Determine. So I have to find the value of probability of conditional probability of E when event F is up. What is the formula? Probability of E intersection F divided by which event is occurred? F. Probability of E intersection F when event F is occurred. This is the formula for conditional probability. Conditional probability of event E when F is occurred is given by probability of E intersection F divided by the probability of F. How to find probability of any of the events? Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So probability of E intersection F will be number of favorable outcomes of E intersection F divided by total outcome. Number of favorable outcome divided by total outcome. Divided by. Again, probability of F. Any probability is the same. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So in this case, I can take number of favorable outcomes of F divided by total outcome, that is the sample What is the number of elements in E intersection F? 1 divided by, what is the number of elements in the sample space? A divided by number of elements of F is 2 divided by number of elements in the sample space again is A. Or you can say the number of elements in sample space can be cancelled here directly. Or 8 and 8 are cancelled, it is nothing but 1 by 2. In this case, I am getting the solution, it is nothing but 1 by 2. So, first find the sample space, 2 events. After you find this, the number of elements in each one. The definition of conditional probability is probability of E intersection F divided by which event is occurred? Probability of F. Probability definition says number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So number of E intersection F divided by number of total outcomes is the sample space. 4 divided by probability of F is number of favorable outcomes F divided by total number of outcomes. Then substitute the values because I have already found the values. Number of elements of E intersection F is 1. Number of elements in sample space is 8. Divided by number of elements in F is 2. Divided by 8. 8 and 8 get cancelled. Half is the solution. Let us work out one more. The next problem we will consider the second one. Determine the conditional probability of event E when event F is occurred. Similar to the previous problem, the random experiment what is given, find the stars three times. So it is the same one, the random experiment what is given, where E at least two heads are, F at most two heads are. Now let us try to rearrange this. 
So I call it stuff screen like the sample space when I write it. It is nothing but all the three are heads. First two head and tail in different orders. So I can consider three cases where I have two heads. Where the last one is the tail, the other two are head. The middle one is the tail, the other two are head. First one is the tail and the other. Now I consider two root tail. First two tails, the last one is head. First and the last tail, the one is head. Then first one is head, the last two tails. Then last cases, all the three are tails. These are the possible cases what I can get back. The coin is tossed three times. This random experiment, the sample space is given by this. The number of elements in the sample space is going to be like eight. Now we'll write down at least two heads of here. I have to get back two heads of here. At least, that is a condition, it has to satisfy that condition. At least, it has to satisfy the condition. So, what is it? In this case, all the three are heads, at least two are heads. I can consider that. The next one also, in any order it will be, but at least two heads are there. Again, in this case, I have two heads. Again, the next one, I have two heads. At least two heads are appearing in all these four cases. Whereas the remaining when I consider, in these three, I have only one head. It doesn't satisfy the condition. Last one, there is no head at all. So, at least two heads are there. This is the possibility what I can consider. So the number of elements in E is nothing but then what is the event F we have? Event F when I consider at most two heads, I have to get back at most two heads. Two heads or one or no heads, but at most two heads should be there. All the three cannot be heads. At most it can satisfy this condition. What are the possibilities? All the three are heads I cannot consider because at most we should have two heads. Two heads should be there or not. If it is not there, okay. But not all the three are heads. So here, at most when I consider, I can start with the second one, head, head, tail. Then the next one, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. Two heads are appearing in this. At most two are there. Otherwise also, I can consider when I have one head. Then even at most one. Not possible at least one is there in this. The last case also I can consider. At most two heads means it need not be there also. All the three can also be taken. So these are the possible cases except the first one where all the three are heads. I can leave that and consider the remaining for F. So totally there are seven possibilities. Two heads appearing. At least one I have, at most one. If I not have two, at least one is there. In this, not even one is there. So at most two heads are there in all these possible cases. At least two heads, this condition should satisfy. There should be two heads. Now, based on this, the number of elements in F is nothing but again I can accept. What does we have to find? E intersection F. Let me see, do I have common elements? Yes, I have common elements. H H is not there. But H H T is there. H T H is there. T H H. These are the three what I can consider. So I consider the three common elements are H H T, H T H, and T H H. These are the possible. So here the common element what I get back in E intersection F is these are the three possible cases H H P H P H T H H. Then number of elements in E intersection F is nothing but right. so I get back these are the cases. So first I have to find the sample space I obtain that. Then I will find an event E, the first event at least two heads. These are the four possible cases where I get back at least two heads. Then at most two heads. So at most these are the seven cases what is possible. Then E intersection F is nothing but three. There are three common ones. Now conditional probability of event E when event F is occurred is given by probability of E intersection F. 
divided by probability of probability of the intersection f divided by probability that is the definition for conditional probability and continue here there is no space so i just continue here there i have another question then how to find probability we know that number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of number of favorable outcomes of the intersection f divided by total outcomes that is the samples then probability of f number of favorable outcomes of f divided by total number of outcomes that is the samples what is the number of elements of e intersection f divided by sample space i have taken then number of favorable outcomes of f is seven divided by total in sample space is eight eight and eight i can cancel three by seven so conditional probability of event e when f is upper is given by three by seven that is the value for the sample so the last problem and this one was similar then given the random experiment as a coin is tossed three times based on that you note down the sample space which gives you the number of elements in the sample space as a the events were defined differently in the first and the second problem e and f are the two events define them then you have to find e intersection f that is the condition what is required in conditional probability find out e intersection f after you find the intersection f the solution is now the solution is the thing but conditional probability of when e when f is upper is given by probability of e intersection f divided by probability of which event is upper f then probability definition says number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of so probability the numerator will be number of favorable outcomes of which one the intersection f divided by total outcome of the sample space what are the outcomes whole divided by the probability of f is number of favorable outcomes of f divided by total number of now if i rearrange in e intersection f i have three sample space the number of elements is a probability of f we have found it is nothing but we have seven divided by number of elements in sample space is a eight and eight the denominators can be cancelled what is left out is three by seven that is the value what we have on conditional probability the third problem let us consider a fair die is rolled so here the random experiment we are considering this a die is rolled Consider the events. They have already given the events. Event E, the cases are one, three, and five. Event F, two and three. Event G, two, three, four, five. They have asked you to four, find four different conditional probabilities. Let us see how to rearrange this. Now, what is the sample space here? The random experiment. What is considered is a fair die in this room. So here, when I find the sample space. Consists of one to six. So whenever we throw a die, the possible cases what I have are either I can show on a die one or it can show on a die three, two, three. So six spaces from one to six are the possible cases. So this is the sample space what I consider when a die is thrown. So the die is thrown. There are six spaces and only. Space. There are the numbers one to six. So these are the six points. Then they have given three events. What are the three events here? Event B e is given as one, three, five, and event F is given as two and three. It's already given in the data. And event G is nothing but two, three, four, five. Now let me consider the number of elements of each one. The number of elements in the sample space when I take, there are totally six elements. The first event E, the number of elements in event E is nothing but three. The number of elements in event F is nothing but two. The number of elements in event G is nothing but four. So I will find the values 
of the number of elements in each of the event and the sample space. Already the events are defined as E, F, G. So I've just rearranged that and Next, I have to find the intersection. I'll obtain the intersection of each one. What is E intersection F? F intersection G and G intersection. So I will try to find the intersection of these sets. E intersection F when I take the common elements in set E and F. Let me look at E and F. What are the common elements I have in E and F? Can I say E is the only common element what I have? So E intersection F includes element only one that is the Then F and G let me look at. F and G when I look at the common elements are 2 and 3. I don't have 4 and 5 in F. So only the common elements are 2 and 3. So here F intersection G is nothing but 2 comma 3. The next one G intersection E. Let me look at the first and the third set. First and the third set, the common elements are 1 is not there in set G, 3 is included, 5 is included. Whereas 2 and 4 are not in set E. So the only common elements what I get back in E and G is nothing but 3 and 5. So the common elements in the first and the third set are 3 and 5. Now I found the intersection of the different sets. Now, let me write down the number of elements of E intersection. What is the number of elements of E intersection F? It is nothing but 1. Number of elements of F intersection G is nothing but 2. Number of elements of G intersection E is again 2. We have obtained the number of elements in the sample space and the three points. After I found the intersection, I have got back the value. Any problem is given to find the conditional probability. The first thing is the experiment based on that you write the sample space. In this problem, the elements are already given. So I mentioned the number of elements in that. For each one, I found the intersection for all the possible cases. E intersection with F, F intersection with G, G intersection with Then the number of elements in that. Now we will find the probability of each one of them. Now here, when I take the first one, probability of E if I know. What does it? Let me find out. Probability of F and probability of G. So if I consider the first one, probability of E, if I take, it is nothing but I have number of elements of E divided by the sample space. So can I take it as 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. So I find the probability of E. What is probability of E? It is nothing but 3 by 6. The number of elements in E divided by the sample space. Then the next one I want is probability of F. What is probability of F? Number of elements of F divided by number of elements in the sample space. That is 2 by 6, which is nothing but 1 by 3. I can also find probability of G. Third element. Probability of G is nothing but number of elements in G divided by the sample space. 4 by 6. That is nothing but 2 by 2. So I have found the probability of each event E, F, and G. Now, I will try to find the conditional probabilities. When I take conditional probability, the first one I start with. Conditional probability of E when event F is occurred. Conditional probability of event E when F is occurred is given by the formula. Probability of E intersection F divided by probability of Conditional probability of E when event F is occurred is given by probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F. I have not found probability of E intersection F. I have only found the number of elements. So if I use the formula, probability of E intersection F can be written as number of elements of E intersection F divided by the number of elements of sample space. 
whole divided by f. What is probability of f? Number of elements of probability of f divided by f. This sample space. I'll just write back here. Probability of E intersection F is number of elements of E intersection F divided by number of elements of the sample space. Then, whole divided by probability of F. I found that directly I can substitute or if I use the formula, number of elements of F divided by number of elements of the sample space. I substitute by the value. Number of elements of E intersection F, it is nothing but 1. Divided by number of elements of the sample space is 6. Whole divided by number of elements of F, what is the number of elements of F? 2. Divided by number of elements in the sample space is 6. The denominators are same, I can cancel the denominators and what will be left out? 1 by 2. So the value of Conditional probability of E when event F is occurred is nothing but 1 by 2. That is the first one. Conditional probability of event E when F is occurred is given by the definition. I use the definition of probability, number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. When I substitute the values, the denominator sample space get cancelled and you get back the value for the first one that is nothing but half. Similarly, let me find the remaining. Now, if I have to obtain the next one, again I try to use the definition. Let me find the second one now. The second one when I have to obtain, what is it? Conditional probability of F when event E is occurred. Conditional probability of F when event E is occurred. It is given by the formula probability of f intersection e divided by probability of which event is occurring? E. Probability of f intersection e divided by probability e. That is the definition for conditional probability. Now I'll rearrange this. This again I have to use the definition of probability. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. If I use the formula, Number of elements of E intersection F, F intersection E is one and the same as E intersection E. You want to write it as it is. F intersection E divided by number of elements of sample space. Probability of F intersection E is number of favorable outcomes of F intersection E divided by total number of outcomes. What is the total number of outcomes? The sample space. Sample space. Divided by probability of E when I take it is number of elements of again E divided by this sample space number of favorable outcomes of E divided by sample space now let me substitute what is the number of elements of E intersection F again E intersection F or F intersection E it is nothing but one number of elements of S is nothing but 6 4 divided by Number of elements of E, that is 3, divided by number of elements of S, again 6. I can cancel 6 the denominator, 1 by 3. So I found the next value, that is nothing but 1 by 3. So this is the value, what we will take, 1 by 3. Similarly, we will try to find the next two. Uh, the third one I consider. Probability of conditional probability of event E given that event G is occurred. So the third one we are considering. Now the definition says probability of E intersection G divided by which event is occurred. Probability of E intersection G divided by probability of G. So I can define it again. I have defined the conditional probability. Now, individually for numerator and denominator, I use the definition of probability. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. That is, number of elements of E intersection G divided by number of elements of the sample space. Whole divided by number of elements of G divided by 
number of elements of the sample space. Number of elements of E intersection G divided by total outcome of sample space. Number of elements of G divided by number of elements of sample space. If you want, you can cancel here only. I write back it as number of elements of E intersection G divided by number of elements of G. Sample space I've cancelled. Whereas in the last two problems, I substituted and then cancelled. And directly I cancelled. What is the number of elements of E intersection G? Number of elements of E intersection G is nothing but 2. Divided by number of elements of G. What is number of elements of G? 4. It is 1 by 2. That is the value you get back. 1 by 2. That is 3. Conditional probability of event E when G is occurred is nothing but half you are getting back the value. So the next one, the fourth one we will consider. Fourth one, conditional probability of event G when E is occurred. The reverse, last case it was G occurred. Here conditional probability of event G when E is occurred. What is the formula? Probability of G intersection E divided by which event is occurred? Event E. Probability of G intersection E divided by probability of What do I get back? Number of elements of G intersection E divided by number of elements of the sample space all divided by number of elements of E divided by number of elements of the sample space. Like the previous problem you want, you can cancel or substitute. What is the number of elements of G intersection E? G intersection E is 2 divided by number of elements of the sample space 6. Number of elements of E is nothing but 3 divided by number of elements of the sample space is 6. 6 and 6 I can cancel 2 by 3. So conditional probability of event G when E is occurred is nothing but 2 by 3. So that is the fourth value. What? Two by two. So this is how we obtain for the next third problem conditional probability of each one. Whenever it is given, first write the sample space. The experiment is the time, the number of elements in the sample space. In this problem, the events were defined, so I wrote down the number of elements. Of then intersection of the sets should be found. Three sets are there. Three events are there, so three intersections are there. Then number of elements are there. Individual probabilities are obtained. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number. Then what was asked the conditional probability? We have rearranged for all the four. So these were the three problems what we considered on conditional probability in today's class. Next class we will continue with few more. On the same one, conditional probability it going to be.